You're bare knuckles. <laughs> but you cannot fool me. Be honest, Mr. Knuckles, I'm wondering if you're taking this for a joke. I don't usually bring religions in at word conversation, but of course I'm a man of God, I'm a man of my word, and my word is my bond. Well, the Indian scammers do this some asshole. Well, I don't know, sir. I don't work for the government. I work for Publishers Clearinghouse. Hello. 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 Yeah, what's up? Oh, you. Am I speaking yeah. to Mr. Johnny Walker here? No, you're looking for my dad, right? Yes. Uh, he's he's in the uh, he's in the hospital right now. He had some seizures in there. They got him under critical care at the moment. Hello? Yes, why did you hang up? I didn't hang up. I thought you did. No, I'm sorry. Okay, what's going on with your dad? He had some seizures yesterday. Um, I came over here to check on him because I'm on my way to Florida. He's not doing real. Yeah. He's not doing very good right now. Okay. Okay. So where is he? Um, where is his wife? His wife is around. Yeah. You want to talk to my mom? He, he, pardon? You want to talk to my mom? No. 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 Listen. This is what you're going to do. Because I told him he have been um some guys have been calling him trying to um eliminate your father having to do some stuff okay that he should not be doing because those guys are fraudulent guys. Oh, I don't You're know nothing about me? that. I don't. I just got okay, here. That is the reason. Yes, that is the reason why I'm explaining it to you. Okay. Uh, 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 your, uh, there's your somebody phone. calling named Philman Brown. Uh, no, uh, no, no. Those guys are scammer. Those guys Who's are trying to scam my dad? Yes, yeah. that is what I'm explaining to you. Okay? Well, let me... Should that I, is, should that I is, talk to him? Reason, no, you should not talk to Mr. Brown. You need to black. Do you know to block numbers uh, um, on your dad's phone? Yeah, I know how to block numbers. Okay, you're going to block Mr. Brown number. Do you see Mr. Brown number? Uh, not right now, but I can look when I hang up with you. Okay, I'm. Um, do you remember my name or my number that I provide to you yesterday? It says. It says. Well, I didn't talk to you yesterday. I don't. It says Mr. Yes, you William are, Smith listen, on it. Yes, this is William Smith. I was the guy that you um talked to yesterday um, and told your father to get to me. Oh, that was you. Yes. I oh, am okay. William Smith. Okay, you see the number on your caller's ID, correct? Um. Yeah. Okay. What are you, you want me to block your number? No, you're not going to block my number. Make sure you have my number saved to that phone. You're going to block all of the numbers that's been calling your dad pretending to take your dad money away, okay? Oh, uh, well, I don't know anything about that. I just, dad's, uh, they've got him sedated right now. I can't talk to him. Um, your father cannot talk right now? No, he's under sedation. They've got him knocked out right now because he had so seizures. Where is, um, where is your mom? Did your mom know what is going on? Uh, she hasn't had a chance to talk to him because they've got him under. They've got. He's not conscious right now. Do I need to tell her what's going on so she can take care of it? Yes, tell your mom what is going on. All right, well, I'll tell them that some uh, scammers have been calling Dad then, okay? 
Yes, and I and I need her to change. You're listening to me? Yeah, I'm listening. Okay, and I need and I need you guys to get your dad phone number changed. So those guys cannot be um able to call your father anymore, so well, you cannot be able to be in the hospital, yeah. okay? Well I'll I'll tell her what you said and I'll if dad makes it through this then we'll we'll make sure we take care of everything. Yes, um listen, give your wife the phone, let me um give your give your mom the phone, let me speak to her. Uh, she's not in here right at the moment. I'm out at the truck. She's in the okay, lobby. Yeah, yeah. Um, um, this is your father's phone? Yeah, this is his phone. I've got my phone with me. but so um, you are I got to gotta get off here and I go tell her what's going on, okay? Listen, 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 um, little Johnny Walker. Um, You're the one Mikey. that's keeping his phone on? Yeah, Mikey. Um, listen, Mikey. Um, you're the one that keeping your dad's phone. Yeah, that's. I'm answering it because he, they gave me his phone and he's not able to talk to anybody right now. So I'll give it to yeah. mom and you can talk to her. Cause, uh, so I've your got, mom I've got about a, anything I've got what's leave. going on? No, I don't think listen so. To Okay, 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 okay. All uh, right, well, I'll tell her, and she, you can talk to her after a while, okay? I'll talk to you later, Mr. Smith. Hello? Hello? Hey, Hi. um, yeah, I didn't, I was on the phone with, uh, Mr. Uh, William Smith. Uh, I couldn't take your call. Dad's, uh... Dad's still in intensive care right now. He's having seizures. Um, okay, okay. Now let uh, me talk to you, Mikey. Your dad. Your well, dad let me talk to, to you to... real quick, just because of what Mr. Smith told me. Mr. Smith said that I should block your number because you're trying to scam my dad. No, no, it's Mr. Smith that's trying to scam your dad because your Mr. dad Smith was well, that lying yeah, little, Mr. that lying little asshole, he told me it was you that was trying to take Dad's money. No, we are in Denver. We are in Denver. Your dad was supposed to meet us over at an, um, over in Denver here. We were supposed to deliver some, some, some weed to us that was already packaged. And oh, those guys, Mr. I don't Smith, know nothing about that. I was, I'm out, I was out of town. I know, because you were out of town and your dad told us. So he came to Denver, do the drop off to the other dispensaries, and he was supposed to deliver 10 pounds to us that is already packaged in the van. He has over 200 pounds right now in the van with his generator and stuff. Right, and those right. Guys, uh, okay, those guys, Mr. Smith, call him. They are the one who makes him in the hospital right now. And I hope you are not on the phone with you, him. Because you need you to need talk to, well, I was going to give the phone to mom and let her talk to y'all, right? I don't know anything about this delivery. I just, I was headed to Florida, and I found out what happened. I swung by here to make sure Dad is okay, but he's not, he's not doing very good. I'm not sure he's going to live through this. So, so you're here right now in Denver, right? Which hospital are I'm, you right now? I'm, I'm at the, I'm, I don't know if I should tell you I miss of course. Should I trust you to... or Mr. Smith? I'm not sure. You're not working with any Mr. Smith. Those guys' numbers you are to block. My number. Well, I don't know post. either of y'all. I feel I don't no. feel like I right, should Mikey. say anything because Dad has Mikey, his truck out here and it's not Mikey, secure. Can you listen to me? Can you, Mikey? Listen. Those I'm guys listening to Smith, you, but I don't want to give out any of Dad's information. No, you're not giving out any information. Anything that you're going to tell me, I know already, or I can give you information. Well, you so just asked me which hospital he's in. I don't want to give out right, that because information. It, yeah, he's, he, was, he was like eight minutes away to do the drop-off for me. He is there in Aurora, somewhere in Denver right now. And he yeah. said something wrong with the...
That's the time those guys, William Smith, come on another line and bothering the guy to to send them some money through mail. And I said, no, no, don't do that, Johnny. Just come and drop off the weed. He says he has two that, strains for me. That's probably I got, him, oh, I got him all stressed out. He probably got stressed exactly, out over that guy exactly, calling him. Exactly. Exactly, because he was driving over, he was driving over to my apartment address to deliver the weed to me because I'm I'm supposed to get ten pounds of the string. Right. Five well, I can give you the phone. No, I can give the phone to mom, and you can work out that with her. I've got to get back on the road, and I think so he, uh, hopefully he'll dad. be okay. You're gonna leave your dad. Well, he's with mom, and he's and she well, said well, that I could have. Well, listen to me. I would appreciate if you could just carry out this simple delivery for me because the box is there in the van, and it's already packaged already. Oh, I don't, two, I don't know nothing about it. Without talking to Dad, I don't know if I should so, Kevin, mess so, with anything so, in the van. Listen, listen. Can you just talk to your dad and tell him you're going to drop off the, the, the stuff to Mr. Patrick? Dad's not, conscious. Dad's not conscious right now. Oh, he's not. So wonder how long will he be in the hospital? I don't know. He had seizures and they don't, they put him unconscious until he stops having the seizures or he could hurt himself. Okay, well, here's the thing. I want you to turn off the other phone or I want you to block those other guys' number, Mr. Smith. I need you to give me their number too. Because well, they I'm told me to block your number. Give me their number right is now. Is this Mr. Brown? This is Mr. Philman Brown. and I am Philman Brown. That's, that's what the phone that, says. phone says Philman yes, Brown. In this phone, those guys are calling on the other phone. And they kept ringing and ringing and ringing and ringing and making oh. Mr. Walker pressure. Oh, they kept ringing. They kept oh, boy. Ringing. To send money in box, I said no. Don't send any money. Don't do that. They were trying to I get him to mail the money. Yes, I said Johnny, don't do that. Come and deliver the no. weed to me. You that that that's all you should do, and you drive back home to Durango. And they're just right. saying no. Hey, you see what I'm saying? So well, right Dad's had some food. problems lately. He he's not thinking right. He's got memory loss and. I don't know what's going on. I hope he's a, I hope he'll be okay. I might just stay here until he gets better. Where are you talking to me right now? Are you outside or are you in the hospital? I'm in my truck right now. And you see your dad truck there, the free to lay van is there, the free to lay delivery van is there? Oh, he don't drive a free to lay truck. He just drives a, a truck that's similar. I know, not a free to lay, the description, the, the, the delivery van. Oh, I'm not sure where yeah. his van's parked. I haven't seen it. You need I to haven't, sure I haven't talked it. to him, so until I talk to him, I won't know where he parked it. It's a, it's, but, it's a big but, ass but place you, here. I know, but listen to me, Mikey. I'm telling you something that's good. I need you to locate your dad van and make sure that it is All safe. All right. Well, I'll need... see if I can find it, and I'll call you back, okay? Well, I, need... I need... No, I need. I don't need you to hang up. I need to stay on the phone with you because my... I've got... Idea that... I've that got I to talk for. to... I've got to talk to Mom, so... Um, i got to hang up on it. There's well, hold like... On. There's hold like... On. There's calls coming in from all kinds of people. Who else no. are you working no. with? Don't you know Raymond him. Kennedy? Raymond Kennedy? No, I'm not familiar with that guy. You don't, and you don't know uh, this guy John McGuire? I don't know any John McGuire. Oh Lord, there's a he's been he's had 300 calls since last night. I, no wonder he so got so stressed out. Because Williams, they give other persons and they call and they pretend to be this person. They pretend to be FBI. They pretend to be this. Those are some cruel motherfuckers. Yeah, they are. I agree with you. Um, so I want you to take down this address. You are about five minutes away from me right now in Denver. 
I want you to take down this address. Take down the address. Did you text it over to Dad? No, I need you to just do this for me. It's something good. You're not doing anything bad because my package is already there inside the truck. Well, it's no, I said, did you text the phone? Did you text the address to Dad's phone? Yes, it's in there. It's 6233 North Panasonic Way. Can you Denver text it Ryan. again because there's so many texts here I can't I can't get through them. So, so you want me to text it to you so you can come over here? I, that's why I need you to locate uh, the van and get my pack. I, 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 I don't know if I got time to do that. I might have to wait till I get back to gonna, Miami. It's not going to take long. It's just about it's going to take you like 10 minutes to get here. But I don't so know anything about it. I don't even know what it's for. I don't know what package it, it is. I don't know anything. I just got here. We, I'm telling you it's the two strains that I bought. Okay. So I can't wait now because somebody else was supposed to get them here. So they just need to go to the address. That's why your dad is in this area. Trust me. I'm telling you. I'm not lying. If you if you just think into what I'm saying. So instead of having to make your mom leave the uh, the hospital, you could just do this and head on. That's why I'm telling you that it is van is somewhere around. Those guys, Smith and all of those guys, they're not even here in Denver. They're just trying to upset this man. He was on the phone with me coming over to my drop off. And then these guys called. He said he's going to put some hair in the tire. And these guys called. Oh, okay. Well, let me see if I can locate the oh, van yeah, before I do anything, and I'm gonna, I'll call you back if I can find it. Well, that's all right. I'll talk, to you in a, I'll talk to you in a little bit, Mr. Brown. My Hello. Hello. Hey. Hey, Hello. Jack. Hey, buddy. Hey, brother. What's up? Uh, I got some bad news. Dad's not doing very good. I heard. Oh, well, did I Mom heard, tell brother. you? Huh? Mom told you? Yes. Oh, uh, well, he's having seizures. Where, where is Mom? No, I don't have your speaker. What happened? Do you have someone else on the other phone? No, I'm not talking to anyone at the moment. No, I'm not talking to anyone at the moment. Can you take me off for that? Can you take me off for that? Thank you. Listen, um, we in see the fact things is happening right now. We have to take precautious measures immediately. Where is the truck? Where is Daddy truck? Dad's truck. I'm trying to find it. He was trying to deliver something to this guy up here in Denver. Um, I'm trying to find the truck so I can take the delivery over there for Dad. Yes. Um, what, what, is that? What's going on with you? Get, get me the location. Let me send two of my guys for the truck. I don't know where the truck is. I'm looking for it. I don't know where the truck is. I'm looking for it. Where are you right now? Where is your location? I'm, a, I'm driving through some parking I'm lots. A, I'm driving through around the hospital lots. trying to find the truck. The hospital, to find the truck. I, There's something wrong the with this hospital. phone. You're I, in can't, phone. I can't talk to you with it. I, I keep hearing myself. I keep hearing myself. Call. Brother. Yeah. Hey, can you hear me? Yes, you want me to let me call you on my, my other business line, okay? You want me to call you right now? No, I'm good. I can hear you now. I was hearing myself back over and oh. over again oh. a while ago. Okay. Okay, so what the, what is the location you said you're at, brother? Because some some guys that dad is trying to deliver the weed to, right? We don't trust them, okay? Oh, you talk to dad? Yeah, where 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 dad is delivering the weed to? 
Did you um, get the contact with the it. person? He's taking it. He's taking it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's been calling me ever since I picked Dad's phone up. He's calling me right now. Give it, Give me his number. Tell me the number that's calling you. Um. Hold on, let me look. He's got him in the contacts. No. He has him in the contacts. Is filming Brown. Hey, Mister Brown. Um, I can't find the yes. truck. I'm not able to find the truck yet. Okay, so you you checked everywhere around the property. Yeah, yeah, I did. But did Dad tell you if he did he get an ambulance or did he come from somewhere else? I didn't know. That's what I'm not sure if he got an ambulance. Maybe, maybe he if he, he left the truck. Somewhere I got my brother. I got my brother on the phone with me. Um, Jack, did he? Did Dad say? If he drove an ambulance over here? Well, I didn't know. For the most part, the last time he texted no, me, I was he said he to No, I was her. talking to Jack. I got him on the line. Did he say, did Dad say if he drove an ambulance to the hospital? Yes, an ambulance. An ambulance has been picked up there at the hospital, but we're securing the truck, okay? So that person that is um, on the phone, Right. We are putting everything on the hold until we finish up with that health, okay? Oh, well, he, he can hear you, I think. Did you hear I that, Mr. Brown? So, so everything is on. Mr. Brown, until we do what we have to do. So you're going to back off this, Mr. Brown, okay? Mr. Brown, we are protecting. Brother, we are protecting the truck. Mikey, that's not your brother, Mikey. Mikey, are you stupid? That's not Johnny's son. No, that's Jack. That's you my half brother. Don't worry yourself. Leave him. All right. Your well, that's your what? That's my half brother from my dad's first marriage, Jack. Did you already you pay? Did we're you we're already we're pay for your delivery, Mr. Brown? Mr. Brown, we secured the truck, Mr. Brown. You won't be getting the weed nor the seventy-five thousand you're trying to receive, okay? So, Mr. Brown, you're gonna no, end up right now and leave this alone. There's okay? no money. That, that's that goes to show you that you're not Johnny's son. There's no money involved. He has the weed that is packaged up. You're not no half you're not brother gonna get or the weed. You're not gonna get the weed. Am, you're not gonna get the weed. All right. dad, dad does dad does have some cash in the truck i i sent 75 thousand with him to send to mr um to for the other guy not for mr brown mr brown's only supposed to get how much is dad trying to give you just to, is it just weed you delivered are you ordered right so well, I don't understand i got i gotta know where the truck is Mr. Brown, I can't do anything until I can find a truck. Brother, we got, I'm going to send to police, local police over there to secure the truck. Everything is good. Mr. Brown won't be getting no weed until everything is settled. Okay, brother? Right. It's probably better to let Dad get where we can talk to yeah. him so I, I know yeah, what's yeah, got no. Paid for. Jack, why are you? Why are you? Why are you? Why are you doing this? All right, listen to me, Mr. Brown. Listen to me, Mr. Brown. I'm gonna deliver the weed to you. Jack, give me your number. Jack, let, let me call get, you. Jack, Jack, let me get your number, Jack, and we talk. Jack, let me call you, I Mr. Brown, because I'm securing the truck. So give me your number, Brown. Yeah, I can look and see if Jack, I can Jack. get it. Tell me, tell me your number, you, Mr. You Brown. Are you okay with me give giving me your Jack number. your number, Mr. Brown? Jack, no, let me Mr. Your Brown give me. Jack, you let and Mr. I Brown need to talk, me. Jack. Jack, let you Mr. And Mr. Brown give me his number Jack. because I secured the truck and nothing won't be delivered until I know my dad is okay. Mr. Brown, give me your number. Uh, 720. 7 Oh, I don't hear you, bro. 720-721. So, Jack, if, give me a call because you, you know you don't secure it. Just, just give me a call, Jack. Then, then we talk to Mikey. Yeah, bro, yeah. Bro, yeah don't try to find out. Bro. Listen to me, bro. Don't play with me, bro. You don't know me, okay? Mikey, tell him don't try that, okay? 
Right, you got to the mind game, okay? Jack, Jack can help you get your delivery. He knows what Dad was so doing. So don't play. Don't hey, fuck don't up, bro. Don't, don't play. Or are you me, man. You don't want this on you, okay? Jack, Jack, don't argue. Bro, Mikey. Mikey, is, hang him up off the line. Let you you got to be professional, Jack, if you're going to handle the business. Mikey, do you know where to locate the fire department in Aurora? Um, that's down 68th Avenue. We're looking at the truck right now, and the truck is safe. That guy is not around the truck right now. I just leave my apartment, and I arrive at the park. There is still a flat tire on the truck, and um, that's the reason okay. why I need the ambulance. Get here. Uh, okay. Yeah, I can, so, Google, I can Google it, and I can drive down there. Right, right. I'm right down on 68th Avenue. So come down. That's the Aurora Fire Rescue Department. I am looking at your dad truck right now, and uh, okay. I see the packaging and everything with the um, with with everything is okay. So hang the phone up with that guy. That guy is a sham. That guy is pretending to be your 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 dad's son, and that guy is only want to get you convinced to get in your brain and to get money from you. So hang the phone up with that gentleman no. right now, and I'm at the. I'm I've been talking to Jack for for months and months. Where. We are half right. brothers. So this guy, Mikey, this guy on the other line, what is he trying to do right now? He's trying to get you frustrated like what they did to your dad yesterday. Now, this is the thing that happened yesterday while your dad is in the hospital right now. They have tried to be pretending to be cops. They're pretending to be federal theory of listen, investigation. Listen your me, dad listen, was... Mikey. Mikey, listen okay. to me. You don't this need guy, no lecture. You don't need guy, no one to be on the phone. That guy you're talking with is a born Jamaican. That guy is a born Jamaican from either Africa. Yes. He, India, is or from Jam Caribbean he is country. from Jamaica. He is from Jamaica. That's bro, where my bro, dad, me, bro. My dad's talking from. Shit, bro. bro, listen. Mikey, bro, you're Mikey talking, that you're talking nonsense now. Mikey, I ordered this. Mikey, I ordered this. Mikey, I ordered this. Mikey, I ordered this. Jack, Mikey, I'm gonna call Mikey. Let's talk about that. Hell. All right, Jack, I'm gonna try to find the truck, okay? And I'll. Can you look and see if the Mikey truck is locked up, up Mr. Brown? Mikey. The truck is secure. The truck is safe. So okay. I am in Denver. I'm at the park right now. I'm at the park right now. And what I need you to do, hang the phone up with that guy and come down here. I'm gonna stay on the line with Mikey. you. Do not talk. Guy, Mikey. What? What, Mikey, Jack? Just hang up with that guy, Mikey. Because Mikey. that's not your brother. Be quiet Mikey, for a minute, Mr. Brother. Brown. I need to talk to Jack for a second and tell him. Um, maybe Dad. Maybe Dad was trying to do something he didn't tell us about. Listen to me, Mikey. But, Are you I'm listening. What's going on? I found off green Are from you? your dad right now. Two different part of the train. Mr. So I, Brown, Mr. Jack Brown, I had to hear Jack. I yeah. can't hear both of you. Okay. 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 Yeah, Mr. Ahead, Brown, Mr. Mr. Brown, Mr. Brown, don't come on no, the don't phone. Mr. With Brown. The... Don't Mr. Listen Brown, me. you don't are a scammer. If you, do, if you don't want problem right now, you should get off the line. You're not oh. even in Denver, Colorado. Mr. Walker come to my apartment yesterday and I was late to arrive at my apartment. So he go back up the street, he go get a McDonald's yesterday and by he get his McDonald's, he go to the Reggae Jamaican restaurant, which is a one of our Caribbean restaurant here in Denver. He got some food from there and from there he was heading Mikey, back to Mikey, my apartment. Listen to me, Mikey. Listen to I'm me, Mikey. listening. I'm listening to both of you. Mikey, 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 did they pay, did they pay for the weed already? Did they pay for the weed? I don't Mikey, know. Yes, I haven't talked to Jack. I haven't talked to Dad yet, Jack. All right, listen, listen. Let me check Dad. Let me check in on Dad's phone and see if they pay for the weed before we do any business with them. Okay, they're talking too much. Because you're a right. And we're well. going to get you tracked. And I'm going to get you reported to the Federal Bureau of Investigation. M Mikey, they're talking too much now, Mikey. They don't have no power, okay? Let, 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 me, check if let me call payment. you. Let me call you back, Jack. I'm going to make sure they, that they made the payment, okay? Don't mess your dad business up. This is a licensed business your dad hey, is dealing with. Uh, Mr. Brown, I'm going to go ahead and look through the text. And, um, I, I, I hung up on Jack because I couldn't hear both of you. My, uh, report him to the Federal Bureau of Investigation, and I'm going to make sure that he is reported, he's tracked down, and he's hunted down. 
I am no, not don't worry. Right don't now. Don't report. Don't he's, report my brother. So, he's uh, not. My brother is not a uh, camera. And to be your brother, uh, Mikey. You have never seen Jack. He's pretending to be your brother. He is ashamed. He is the reason why your dad has moved from Texas. He told me two, three weeks ago. I meet your dad about two, three weeks ago, and I, I collect um, 20 pounds from him. So this week he was doing a drop off for us for 10 pounds. So our business is different. I don't know what money Mikey is talking about. I don't know what they're talking about. But I explained to your dad that you know you're getting stamped over thousands of dollars. Those guys, those Mr. Smith and all those guys, it's like a team of them. They call from separate numbers and they're trying to sham you out of your money. They're pretending like you have a sweepstake prize or a packet and they're shamming you out of your money. So your dad oh. caught up in that. Your dad even do a surgery, Mikey. So listen and look into what's going on and get those right. guys off the phone. They are criminals. I'm going to look into it. I am doing business right here to get our green, right? I paid for my stuff, over $40,000. So let's get the green to me. You go move on. You get assisted to your dad. You get your dad truck safe because it's about 200 pounds inside of your dad truck right now. The cooler has to be on. And, I, and since, since yesterday when he was in the hospital, I don't know if the generator was running. I don't know if it was off. Think about this stuff. We cannot let this product go down the drain like that. No, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna pick it all up. I'm gonna pick it all up right. and put it in my truck. No, I'm, 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 I'm gonna be here. We're gonna drive down back the road from my arm here. It's like eight minutes to my apartment, and you can cool down. We can get your truck back up and running, and you can have the truck driving there. If you wanna park in my parking lot at the um the apartment, you can. All right, I am in a Ram Dadram truck right now. So get over here at the fire rescue department, and um, it's, uh, I think, Perrier Park. So that's just a little bit below the fire rescue department coming down. On How do you spell that? All right. Do you see the message that I sent to you? Do you hang the phone up with Jack, by the way? Let me know. Yeah, you yeah, Jack's, Jack's, not on the, Go ahead. Jack's not on the phone. Go ahead and block his number right now. You need to think about your dad's safety. This guy is trying to convince you to put you in trouble against your dad and so that your dad product go down the drain. Who want to do that? Who want to I do think that? He's, I think he's just confused because he's done too many drugs over the years and right. and he's a, he's been working for a scammer in Jamaica at a call center is what he told mom. And he's trying to turn. He's trying to turn his life around. No, he's, he's trying to be a better person right. now. That's why I'm telling you, these guys. They are the one your dad is in the hospital yesterday. Did you know that Jack was on the phone? Mister Smith was on the phone, and they were all trying to tell your dad, "Oh, go mail off forty-five thousand to the post office. Oh, go send twenty thousand. And we're telling your dad, "No, don't do that. Why are you doing that?" Come drop our weed off and you go back home to your wife. You have to take your medications. You're traveling on the road for so long. And they call Those your dad. Call your dad to... Those guys are evil. So, That's so what they are. You don't, you, don't, you don't hear is the strong. You don't hear the strong accent. You don't hear that strong accent in, jo in, in, in Jack's voice. Jack, well, Jack's yeah, I know, I know he is from Jamaica. That's where dad's from. That's why so guess I, I know he's Jack my da dad's real son. He's pretending to be the real Jack. He is pretending to be real Jack. Have you ever guys sent money? He told me he sent thousands of dollars to Jack and he have get ripped off. But the reason why you talk with Jack because he's similar as his son. But that's not your brother, which is your dad's son. That's another guy named Jack pretending to be dad son because your dad let him know about his son named jack so when they're talking right. he's like oh dad oh oh, that oh i got he's you he's he's just taking right. advantage of my dad's memory and pretending right yeah right. And oh my god jack of you get what i'm coming from so right yeah now, i hope you're i hope you're wrong i hope that's not he true he don't even 
Mikey, listen to me, man. Just listen to me. He don't even know the street your dad was on yesterday, where your dad truck is or whatsoever. Well, he's, anyway, still man, ja he's still in Jamaica. He's still in Jamaica, Mr. Oh, Brown. So how you, he, how you should know where your dad Tell well, me. Well, he, talk, he, he calls where. him all the time. I figured he's he was on the phone he's with protected. him. Right, because he's a shammer that's shamming your dad over 200, 300,000 going now. Your dad paid them out where you don't know, your mom don't know, which is your dad wife. They already got oh, over 380. That's dad. when dad, so that's that when dad sends them all that cash. Is that what you mean? Right. 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 So last time I, he did that, I, last time he did that, I kept the money for myself. Right. So that's what your dad told me yesterday. I tell him, hey. Respect Mikey, love Mikey, and he told me you're over in Florida. So, so look into the zoo and look in things for your zoo and so forth. You know, right? I've been buying, I've been buying animals and fossils for the zoo, so that um, we can open up soon. All right. So uh, uh, let me. Uh, I'm gonna. Go I guess I'm gonna drive down to the fire department and I'll load the truck, unload the truck into this but, one, and I'll. I'll bring it over to you, okay? Mikey, listen to what I'm saying. You need to listen so you can follow instruction and find what... Well, your phone is breaking up so badly. I can barely okay. hear you. Well, I'm saying, number one, I'm going to be on the phone line with you. I'm going to stay on the line with you to guide you and to know that we locate the bus. All right. So what I'm going to do, guess what I'm going to do? You're not going to go to the fire department it's in the area of the fire rescue department i think below below the uh, fire okay. rescue department park and i think there is either a close by gas station so, so uh, yesterday uh with with your dad i think as they said it's maybe an ambulance that come to get your dad from where he was stuck because the, the tire was flat he could not move his truck and he wasn't going to move the truck, right? So the truck okay. is either below the fire department to a park that's a start of there in that same area. So I think it's down 60th Avenue. 60th. Uh, um, let me write this down real um, quick. You said 60th Avenue. Um, hold on. I'm trying to Google it right now to give you the address. But um, you know where to locate the fire station department, right? Well, I was going to put it in my phone and just uh, I'll use the navigator to get there. I mean, I'm in a pretty, I'm in a big truck myself, so I got to be careful what streets I pull down because I was going to go I pick up understand. something. Did you say something? Okay. I'm yeah, just give me a minute here. I'm trying to look through it on my other phone, but um, my 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 data has been slow on it. So just bear with me. But I'm on the line. Um, you know where to find um Peria Park? Can you Google? Can you Google Peria Park? How do you spell that? My Peri. All right. Where are you now? Where are you? Are you at the hospital or or the? <clears throat> Uh, not now. I drove from. I've, I'm a few blocks from the hospital now. All right. All right. So, what street are you on? So I can Google the street that you're on to my location, so I can give you that location. Pull over or something. Pull over. You gotta. You gotta you give gotta me a minute to. Uh, I'm having the same problem you're having with the. Uh, the internet is really slow right now. It's not giving me a. Right. Right an update on street names. Are you still there? Yes, I'm here. I'm here. Well, just give me a minute. My, I'm trying to get my phone's not updating like yours. I don't, I'm not hung up on you or nothing. I'm just trying to find, find the right street. You said Prairie Park. What I need you to do is to just tell me somewhere around you. What are you seeing around you? Tell me something that you're seeing to distinguish where you are. Uh, well, give me a minute till I can get my phone to update. Okay, update your phone. I'm on the line.
Uh, I'm going to have to give me a minute. I got to run in here to this convenience store. And I got to grab me a, a cable. My my charger cable is not working. I, I don't want my okay. phone to die when I'm trying to find this place. Okay, I'm going to be on the phone. Don't hang it up. Uh, okay. I don't want to lose connection. Yeah, so I just will. Put it down. I'm you just gonna put it down here in the seat. All right, put it down and go get the cable. To film, and I think I, I see the truck. You found it. Yeah. You found it, bro. Yeah, I got it. Okay. Okay, don't do no business with no one, okay? You're going to get the address where to, to bring... No, I'm yeah, on the man. phone. Oh, I'm bro. on the phone with Mr. Brown. We got to finish that delivery Mikey, for Dad. Where are you right now, Mikey? Which location are you right now? You found the... Truck. I'm at... Yeah, yeah, it's at a service station. It was not too far from where the hospital is. It looks right. like it's got a flat tire. Right, you see, you see that I know. Where are you? Are you here? I am by Panasonic Way. I am close by oh. Panasonic Way. All right, well, I'm going to empty the truck out and uh, load everything up. So you told me that you, you hung up the other line. How come you still have Jack? No, Jack, I just, I just called Jack back because uh, I needed to tell him that uh, I just got word from Mom that the dad's where, where uh, you, not, bro? dad's awake now. Bro, brother, where are you now? Exactly. I'm at the service Just station. And, um. Okay, listen to me. You found the truck. Now turn yeah. the generator on and make sure that the truck is cooled down in the well, truck. Well, it it's doesn't cool need to be on. I'm going to empty the truck and put it into the, my oh. truck. All right. Now listen. I need you to drive over to the apartment and so I can get my, my, my products uh, delivered. Well, I'm going to put right? the phone down for you, a second. Y'all, yo, yo, I'll be right back. I'm going to make sure I put everything in the bag. I'll be right back. All right. You should see my mind that is already boxed up. Jack, let me talk to you. Jack, hello? Yeah, bro. Brother, I'm gonna like, oh, move like a fool in a youth, like it. Yeah, listen, like listen, 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 listen. Calm yeah. yourself now. I know you're the ignorant, bro. Whoever the call, call, brother, we are chatting a code and I say, Rig, you are number me, we chat. You know, I move like a fool, daddy. Bro, listen to me now, bro, God. Listen to the bomb buck class to me, bro. You don't know who the fuck you are chatting, bro. A hundred man, the funny claim killer. So listen to me, I'm chat, bro. I'm an academic just bomb buck class. Show me all on the text message and show me what I want, bro. A different program run, bro. They are. I don't know nothing about what you have to bro. So I just, just find out that I can intercept your bum buckle thing, bro. Because I dog them the right and the color of the tongue the same way, bro. But I pray me I pray to chat to Uno to make Uno thing go show. Nobody the fuck the dog. We think yeah, mad, bro, God, man. So only command the bro, what's on a dog? You want a boy, we lick off. You want a boy, get that shit for this. You want a boy, get lick off for this, no. No feel like the dog. I just, just find out the little style over here. So Johnny, you know, my bro. A, a mad a program running in the bro, God. I'm going to intercept you, I think. I'm a cassie dog. I owe them. I said, no, I don't know them. Bro, listen, oh, bro. Yeah, I make yeah. a thing go through just the same, bro. Because I can't get all black right now, my father. I wonder how your number get black, bro. None of them no black your number. We don't know every man they listen to his phone. What I mean, I say, give me a number, I will call. I will chat for one different line right now. No matter if you listen to your phone, no. Thing bigger than what you think. I'm done there calling upon the number, but no answer me, bro. I'm not taking things like a boy, bro. You can feel like me a Mickey Mac, bro. I think I think I know Pitney Chopper. You can scrape a style. I will like scrape for them. We try dash right now. I'm gonna find some little scrape. I come up, try to figure something to do with him, you know. Set him against him, friend, or do something, you know. Me I call up on the seven something number, bro. Seven two zero number. Feel your number that. You can't call here night with the panel. I say I'm gonna give one different number. Oh, me nice say pray. I will on them type of the number. Give me number. Give one different. We on the two year one. Two eight one, yeah, bro. Two eight one, six two eight, two eight, eight one. one. What on it? Two eight yeah, one two, seven five one. Five. Seven five one. Seven two. So the two eight one seven five one. All right, bro. I'm thinking I hate this one, man. Isn't it? What did you know? Not here, my bro. Four nine. Let me call it. Me kill a dog. 
copy the number. Two eight one seven five one. Got it all. I got it all loaded and I locked the truck up, so I'm gonna send a wrecker down here to pick it up. Okay, so um, you're gonna you saw my package that was already yeah. boxed up with the weed and stuff. You're gonna get that delivery here to me because I'm just eight minutes away which, from you. Which one of them is yours? There's well, four different seven, packages. Brother, oh, brother, I will help you settle them out, okay? I will help you sort them out, brother. Don't confuse your little brain. Well, I just uh, want to make sure I don't give them the right, wrong one. I know. I mean, Remember, he... Daddy, keep me up to date with well, everything. Well, it has ten pounds in it, and um, you should see, you should see um, I think there is um a little bit of um cash inside at the bottom. Well, I didn't open them up. They're all. They're all closed. Um, they all weigh more than 10 pounds. Not one of them weighs about 50 pounds. No, it wouldn't be so heavy because it's just 10 pounds. All right. Is that the only thing in the box? Yes. You said there's some cash? Yes, and then you can just... 75,000 a bit, brother. Well, well how much yeah, would the cash weigh? Oh, I know which... I know which box that is, Jack. That's a... That's separate from the other, from the rest of the boxes. Take, it, take out the cash and we're going to deliver the weed at their apartment, okay? No, one of them has the 35,000, Jack. So that one is different and yours is the 75. So we're not messing up with your package, Jack. Well, let me make sure right. that, let me make okay, sure no one, that brother, dad you know didn't what? take the 35 call, out. Call my guys. Let them go to the same apartment. Everyone gonna meet at the same apartment and have everything settled out and split up, brother. We have to make sure you're safe oh. at the apartment. You're Call the guys and send them to the location, bro. Well, get our guys okay. to come to the apartment, bro, okay? So everyone will all be right. happy, all right? Everyone should be safe and comfortable. Everyone should be getting their even share of everything. Cause dad texts me everything, tell me what is what and who should get what before he even leave out. So we just want to make okay. sure everything goes smooth okay. and no one goes upset. Okay, Jack. Send me your location of the apartment. My guys is, will be like five minutes away. Call the guys, bro. All right, I'm gonna. All right, Mikey. I'm gonna. Um, I gotta wait on the wrecker to get the truck. Okay. Now look, look, look there, Mikey. You should see the one that has the 30, 30, 35,000 sides. With the ten pounds. Well, you want me to open the boxes up and see what's in them? Because I don't know. Dad didn't. Dad didn't leave me no notes here. Hold on, but you don't see anything written on the boxes. You That's why I told you, brother. Well, there's one box that has oh, listen, uh, pound, a brother. bunch of stuff on listen. it. Brother, Dad told me. Dad told me the ten pound have the thirty five thousand in it, okay? Right. That's the one um I am to deliver. I think I think the, the thirty five is in the ten pound, but hold on, let me check. Right. And I know and 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 all right, hold on. And the seventy five brown Matt Brown, where you said you have the seventy five in? No, um the seventy five that that should be for you, Jack. So the thirty five is in a box with ten with ten pounds. That has a lot of stuff written up over it. That box is very much marked up, um, Mikey. It, uh, a lot of writing is on that box. All right. Are my guys going to come and collect it at the same apartment, too? Maybe you should okay. see something written on it. Like uh, it so. One of them says John McGuire on it. He's been calling me all ever since I picked up the phone. Ever since I picked up the phone. Hold on a second. He's, he's calling me right now. Y'all hold on a second so I can talk to John real quick. I want to make sure he gets his delivery as well.
Just deal with me and Jack right now. We and Jack already on the phone. Just deal with us right now. Drive over to the apartment or wait on the phone. I know. I know. Well, y'all just hold on. If he, doesn't, he might not. He's not answering, so. Yeah, I'll just, uh, you want me to head that way then? Is that what you're saying? Alright, well, give me a, give me a little bit for the, I want the wrecker. Now, the wrecker has to get here and then I'll, I'll head that way, okay? One of y'all send me the address. Send it on right, my phone. No. Right. Well, I have the address here. It's eight minutes from you. It's um Panasonic Way. Send it to Dad's phone, okay? The one zero three five phone. Mikey. So. Mikey. Yeah, Jack. Wait until the record move the truck peacefully. Don't nothing is not gonna be in a rush. That's Mr. what Brown, I was saying. No, I've got Brown, I gotta wait on the record because the truck's Got a flat, and we're gonna have to take care of that. Secure the truck have to be secure. I'm gonna call y'all back as soon as the record gets here, okay? Don't okay, end, don't end right. up the phone, Mikey, okay? Alright, I'll talk to you in a little while. Hello? Hello? Hey. Hey, this is uh, John McGuire. Hey, it's Mikey. I was just, uh, I was on the phone, I came by and, uh, to see Dad on my way down to Miami, and he's, uh, he's not doing real well, but Dad, Mom told me to go ahead and, uh, she gave me his phone, so if we got any calls, uh, I could take care of it, I just, I keep getting these guys calling me, wanting me to go buy an apartment here in Denver and drop off a package and stuff, but I don't, Dad didn't leave me any notes about no, those it. those guys were scammers. Those guys were scammers. They were calling yesterday. Um, he, he even three-wayed the call some of the time so I could hear what he was, what they were saying. Um, those guys were some scammers. The Mr. Brown? Uh, I, um, I'm not sure. I know about Mr. Smith. Okay, well, there was a Mr. Smith call, a William Smith, then there was a guy named Philman Brown, then a guy that named Jack that he's, uh, he claims to be my dad's, uh, son from some girlfriend he had when he was in Jamaica, and I'm not, I'm not totally positive that he's telling, being honest with me, but they both act like they know a lot more about these packages in the truck than I do, so I always didn't know if Dad had said something to you about what was going on. Or... No, those guys are no good, brother. Those guys are no good. They were trying to take advantage of your dad yesterday. Okay, what do you suggest I just block them or just tell them to fuck off or... What do you think? Yeah, I think you could. I think you should block them. Okay. All right. Well, uh, and they call me nonstop, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna just block the numbers because I don't think I can handle uh, getting a call every thirty seconds. Ever since no, I drive you grabbed this phone, it's just been like insane. Uh, phone's about dead, anyways. I probably just let the phone die. I don't have to worry about it. But, uh, okay, well, I'm gonna. I guess once I leave here, I'll. I'll try to find a, a FedEx. Is that you said UPS or FedEx? Which one was UPS. the FTC we're using? UPS. Okay. All right. Well, I'm. I'm sorry it's taking so long. I was. I thought Dad could take care of this while I was going to pick up this thing up there in Alberta, but. Uh, apparently he got sidetracked by these uh these guys of trying to get him to deliver stuff all over the place. Uh yeah, I'm just kind of lost at the moment because dad's they're keeping them uh, sedated and 
I don't have no way of asking him what was going on because of the seizures, you know, they don't want him to, they want to try to get him over everything that's going on before they allow him to wake up so he doesn't hurt himself. Um, but anyhow, I'll just, uh, do, I'll just take your advice and uh, try to get rid of these guys and. Yeah, you block those guys. They'll drive you crazy, sir. All right, John. Thank you for the advice, and I'll, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll get in touch back with you as soon as I get the chance, okay? Okay. No problem. All right. I'll talk to you later. All right. Bye. Bye. Hello. Hello. Hey. Hey. Mikey? Yeah. Yes, it's Mr. Brown. The director came as yet? No, I'm still waiting. Oh, I'm so glad you found the 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 van. I'm so glad. Yeah. So, well, what I want, I gotta, what I want gotta you to do. put the phone on the charger. It's about to die on me. Well, just plug it on and make sure you answer when I call, cause my name is safe and I'm just right up the street from well, you. Okay. I'm outside part of the time. I'm working on the truck. I'm trying to get the flat tire swapped out on it. So, I'll call okay. you when I get back inside. Call me on this phone. Don't call me with Jack them. All right? And like I said, my package is there with the 10 pounds and the 35,000, okay? Right. Because well, Jack, was what was Jack has some people here, too, and supposed to pick something up. Are right. they going to be there? Well, I don't know. I don't know. I just need well, you, you to were talking. Me. You were talking to him. What did y'all decide? Yes, and he said we. Um, he said he want me to just get everything there. So maybe you can just leave all the boxes there. Oh, just all leave right? everything. Okay, gotcha. All right. Well, let me call you when I get back from working on the truck. All mm, right. Bye. I'll call you too. So answer. Right. Charge your phone and answer. Hello. Hey. Yes, buddy. What's up? Uh, I'm headed, no. I'm going to Miami, brother. I'm headed to Miami. I don't hear you. I'm going to Miami, brother. I don't trust this guy. Okay, my bro. Uh, okay, something, bro. Something, something's up with that guy. Oh, he, don't, he don't know nothing. He's just spouting off a bunch of bullshit. Yes, I know. They're hauling the truck off now. I'm going to get back on the interstate. I've got to go pick up my fossil Can you hear from me? Miami. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yeah, I hear you. Can you hear me? Yes, I hear you. We're going to make you jump off the boxes. I'm going to give you the right address for you to jump off the packages, okay? I'm going to have to do you're it on the way on back, back brother. Sure you're safe and protected. I'm going to have to do it on the way back. You have to do it on your way back, but it's in, it's in Denver. It is right in, in where you are, okay? I know, I've already lost half a day. I've already lost half a day, Jack. Trying to check in on Dad. Send me your address where you are. Well, I'm across the very far, but I'm I'm not going to hang around. So you're heading to Miami right now? Yeah, I'm headed to Miami. Listen, listen, brother. I'm going to make them take everything from you. I ain't I giving no, I'm not are, giving dad stuff to anybody. I'm not going to give away dad's product to someone I don't know. Do you want to try to get me, you, try to get me killed? To the right people. You don't care if your brother gets put in harm's yeah, way. Hold on, brother. Hold on, brother. Bro, don't end up. Don't end up, bro. Hold on. Hello? Oh. Yeah, can you hear me? Mikey, Mikey, you finished the yeah. fire. I need you to come to the address. I, I can't. I can't. Me and Jack talked it over. And, um, we don't think it's a good idea until we've talked to Dad to, to do this. But Jack is here on the phone. Jack is here on the phone. Jack's not. Jack hasn't talked to Dad yet. That's the problem. I'll call Jack and I'll let you, I'll confirm. I'll just tell both of y'all what I decided. Call him up. Call him and merge the line right now. Call him I and am calling him. Calling him right now. I'm Are, you okay. there? Are you there, brother? Okay, okay. I never know they're on the phone. 
Yeah, just, Mr. Just Brown is on Atlanta. the phone. Me, bro. I'm going to I'm going to Miami. I'm not going to hang around Denver and to talk to a bunch of strangers. I don't know you. I don't know who you are. I don't trust you. You sound like a scammer. You're just, drop, you're just dropping off the package in the package area. You're just dropping off the package. Right, no but I know I know what's in the package, and I don't want to give that to somebody without talking to Dad first. Right, but that was designated for us. That was designated for well, us. Well, I don't Brother. know that. Can, I don't have a receipt. Jack just told Brother? you that. Yeah. Jack just told you that. So just do that. that talk, Jack. With Jack. Can, he, can I talk, brother? Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna talk, make Jack. Get the weed dropped off. I'm going to make you get the weed dropped off to the right destination and everything is settled. Stop acting up your brain, okay? You're going to get the address sent over. The address is going to be going in your phone and you just go drop off everything there and continue your journey to Miami, okay? I don't want to do that without talking to Dad first, Jack. I know. I talk with Dad, brother. I get the last words from Dad. You know Daddy talks to me with everything. I don't know. Sometimes you know he does. Sometimes he doesn't like you too much. Because you know I always stay in Jamaica, and not coming over to do the family business. That's why. Right. I well, why do you do that? Why do you, you let Dad down? Because I never. Because I never know about farming, that's why I never did take the land, and that's why. Oh, well, you can't you know, learn if you don't ever show up. You treated Dad terrible, Jack. You need to treat Dad I didn't a lot want better. The property. I didn't want the property, brother, because I don't know what to do with the big property. I I can't control it, so I didn't want it, bro. You sell it, right? And I yeah, know I sold it. The money, right? I I got the money with me. All right, I never want the property, bro. Well, I understand That's that, but you should have you, you should have told Dad that so he'd understand instead I, of breaking his I heart. I told him to send the paper, let me sign it. But I just I just changed my mind. I I never want it. Yeah. I think you I deserve know. it. I think you deserve it. I I think you deserve it, bro. Well, me and Selena right, are gonna to have our own place one of these days. Dad gave me the address where he was, so I'm gonna Bush. give it to you. you Send it over. Stop everything there and just leave. Send it over to me now. Okay. And I'll see. So I, I'm gonna to I'm gonna call <laughs> mom first. It's just ten minutes away from you right now, Mikey. That's I'm gonna call mom. Yeah, just, I gotta I call just... mom first. All right. I gotta All call right. mom and make All sure right. that dad is okay with this. Well, yes, tell, yes, but don't tell mom you talk with me. You know she always be pissed. Yeah, I won't mention your name. She can't stand you, Jack. I know. What did know. you say to her I to make her, her so angry? Don't get, don't get Lucille upset. Remember, right? she just jealous. She was just jealous because I'm an outsider to Johnny. That's all. She was just jealous of the fact that. Well, you told her Don't you were you okay. told her you were a scammer. That's what pissed her off more than anything. You gotta change your ways. You said you were gonna change your life and live differently. Are you doing that? Everything is good. She she we 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 over talk everything and we over I, everything is okay, brother. Okay? Are you gonna be I, in she, Miami? My mom is good right now. Okay. Are you gonna be in Miami? Oh no, I, I will be in Cali. In California? Mikey. What, Mr. Brown? Mikey. I'm having a talk with my brother. Mikey, you're close right now to us here in Denver. Can you just drive over to the address and deliver our package? It's easy. No one is harming. Nothing is going to be wrong. And then you start out everything else with your brother, Jack. I'm not disputing you and your brother. All right? And that's what uh. Jack is saying. You're interrupting me when I was in a, having a private conversation with him. Why are you still on the line? Hang up. You're not my brother. No, brother? I'm supposed to the package that was dealt with. So you're just supposed to just deliver the package with the 10 pounds. Well, that's dad business. I'm not, I don't run the weed farm, okay? 
His business is not my business. I was just trying to do you a favor. You're going to get me in a world of shit if I take this but package to the you. wrong place. I help, I help you to locate the van and everything. And I tell you, the van had a flat tire. He stopped at the rescue station. So just look in the vicinity. And this is how you're going to pay me back? After all my pleading and, and begging? Just you're saying, I, this you're saying that I owe you? This was supposed to be delivered from yesterday. Bro yes. Brother, brother. Just comply. Yeah, brother. Jack. Address, right? I'm going to give you the right address. Just calm down. Let me send you the address. You just dropped everything there. And that's it. This no guy's pissing me off. This guy's pretending I like I owe him a favor or something. Let you just deliver one package to our address, which is 10 minutes away, and then you deliver everything else where you I are. don't know. I are don't you? know who the hell you are, Mr. Brown, but you got a lot of nerve getting that attitude with me. I'm jerking out in your ass. I might be slow-witted, but I've got muscles, you know. You want to have? You want me and you to have a fight when I see you? You want to test me? Huh? You want to test me? You want to? You want to? You want to? You want a fist fight when I get there? Huh? Something like that. I said, do you want a fist fight when I get there? Do you want to test me? Oh no. Well, don't be getting that attitude with me like I owe you something. I don't owe you a damn thing. I don't know who the hell you are. If you want to get, you want to get out in the parking lot and scrap, my God, I'll do it. I'm going to send you the address, okay, Mikey? Are you going to be there, Jack, too? You going to help me fight I this guy? Eat. You going to cover yeah, my back? Send off my goons there. I send yeah, send a couple of goons. I don't want one of them jumping me from behind. I have my top killers. You know that. Right. Send one of your right, killers. Don't, don't worry. Send a couple Stay of killers. Let me send you the address. Stay still. Let me send you the address. The address is like eight minutes away. It's right around the corner. Let me give you the address. Okay, Mikey? Send it to don't my move phone. Until I give you the address, Mikey. Send it to don't my move. phone. Yes, I know that. I'm going to give you the address. It's like eight minutes away around the corner. Don't move us yet, Mikey. Let me send two of my guys. Are you going to pick your package up from his goons? Mr. Brown, is that how we're going to work this? Yes, just 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 do everything um, with what Jack gives you. Jack is going to give you the address. All right, you trust it? You trust Jack and his goons? Yeah, yeah I'm going to. Calling them, calling them goons is probably not the most trustworthy way to refer to them, Jack. That sounds like a... You're part of a mobsters or something. I haven't heard anybody called goons in a long time. Are you? You're part of that Miami Miami mafia, aren't you? You you know I, I got the guys. All right, I got you. I know your got the connections. Yeah, because you know we have to always stay alert. Right. Remember they tried to kill my friend. Send some Secret Service over. You got a couple of guys in the Secret Service? Yeah, two of them right now. They're like 10 minutes away. They're coming right now to you, bro. They're coming right. right now to you, bro. Well, tell me, hold on, listen. Text me your address where you're standing right now. Text me uh, your address where you're how standing do I, right how now. Do I do that? Right, right now. How Just do text I do me that? on my number. Text me on my number. Just share your location or text me on my number. With your address right, right now, my brother. I'm not that smart, Jack. I'm going to have to look around and figure out where the hell I'm at. Just text me, bro. Jack, you text him the address already, Jack? No, he had not text me. So you put it in the GPS? It's 6233 North Panasonic Way. You can just drive over there. We buzz you in the package area, you put down the packages. And then drop guys can come and get them from there. It's easy and you can take on your journey to Florida. That's a long drive. Jack, you there, I Jack? I just, bro. Oh, brother, I'm getting hungry. I'm going to have to stop and eat. I just saw a Mexican restaurant. All right, pull over at the Mexican restaurant and get something to eat. All right.
I'll be right back, guys. I'm gonna grab a few tacos and then I'll head that way, okay? Just, just lay the phone down. Just lay the phone down, bro. Yeah, I'm laying the phone down. I'll be right back. All right, all right, all right my brother. Oh, hold on a second. I gotta lock the truck up. We got a lot of shit in here. I can't take a, I can't take a chance of somebody stumbling up on the, on the truck. Yeah, close the truck and go to the restaurant. Okay. I'll talk to you in a minute. Alright, lay the phone down. Don't hang it. We now and try to take fuel. You're not know, listen to you. You're just, you're still at the we say, want to try to confiscate. Bro, we're not taking yours. If you want to confiscate the box. Hello? Hello? Bro? Bro? Yo, now we done by 35. Hello, bro. Hello, bro. Brother. Brother. Line still up me. Still there, line still up me. Can I hear you? So you feel like me a style of thing, dog? Dog, relax, bro. God, bro. Man, think I'm bum buck to eat, bro. So me tell the man if I eat, I feel a way that I love him. Make him go eat and do the thing properly. Hello. 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 Hello, bro. The man now uh, up on the line, bro. See line. Hello, 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 hello. But up and down, but can't do nothing more than that, bro. I feel like I'm fuck up with the play, bro. That man time, bro. I fully accept that man. That's the plan. Brother, you see, I'm gonna throw no three, shoot no little bit of big thing, is man. I hear. Bro, 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 you know, I don't say you're a waste man, dog. You don't say you're a real waste man, bro. I swear to God, bro. I pay ignorance to the youth, bro. Fuck your man, little boy, you're not getting nothing, man. Hello? Yeah. Hello? Hey. Am I Mikey? Hey. Yeah, you're Mikey. I gotta leave it, Mikey, or I'll forget. Um, these, these guys uh, are asking me to deliver the speed to their apartment in Denver. I just want, want you to say that not to do it and that they're not on their client list and whatever you want to do. They're not on the what list? They're not, well, they're, not, on they're, list? they're not your client. They're not any of our clients. They're just... Oh, okay. Basically, basically, I'm going to ask you if, uh, if, I, if Daddy was supposed to deliver this package to, to this apartment and I'll, I'll give out an address, which I'll, I'll just cut out later, but... Um, I just okay. want I just want to piss this guy and off. I just want to. So basically, you want me to say no? I don't know what this is. Don't do that, Mikey. No. <laughs> right. I'll just I'll just explain to okay. you that they said that Daddy was delivering ten pounds of marijuana to this these apartments, and I want to make sure that they actually paid before I take it by there, and then you can. Okay. You can run it. You can go wow. through whatever you want to say. No, they're full of shit. That they've never paid for anything. So this guy's name is uh, his fake name, anyways. Is Philip. Did he say uh, that he paid for something? Yeah, he's telling Mikey that they've already paid for this. Philman Brown. Philman oh, hmm. Brown is what he's going by. Oh, okay. He wants to meet Mikey to kill him. No, this guy is, uh, this is so oh. completely different. This is, these cameras are different from Jack. Jack is, oh, okay. Jack okay. is kind of working with them now because I got them all on the phone and they, when they thought I was out looking at the oh. tire, they all kind of congregated. Oh. But, but now Jack's telling me don't trust oh, okay. them and of course they're saying bring it to the apartment. But if you want to, hmm. if you feel like, you fill up the wing in it, I'll throw you on the car with them. 
Yeah, I'll, I, just, I'll just say, no, I don't know who the heck they are. And I just like, we didn't get any payment. <laughs> you can maybe just maybe say, hey, just go ahead and go finish your picking up your fossil from Miami or whatever and, and just leave these guys alone because I want to, I just want to see if they get pissed. I might bring a, I can't okay. really bring Jack on the line because there's no way you would talk to him. But I'm, I'm basically leaving Jack for later. I, I told Jack that I'm going to, that I emptied out Dad's truck of the weed and the packages that he was carrying and uh, that and Jack's like, well, you can go ahead and take this money over to these guys, which is kind of surprising, but, you know. Jack hmm. has people in Denver, too, that were gone to pick uh, up the other the other 70 pounds of marijuana that Johnny was hauling. So, I could know. say something like, I don't know if this is legal. Um, no, and they didn't pay us anyway, so no. Don't do yeah, that. <laughs> well, you, yeah, you would, you would know that they're not part of the... You know, they haven't paid for anything, and they're not even one of our clients. If you want to ask them who they are and, and get ask them their details, maybe even say, hey, can you give me your, uh, can you give me your registration number for whatever, Colorado. I don't know if you probably know more than I do, but they probably have to have a license to, to buy 10 pounds. Actually, um, to buy it, they don't. Colorado is, is medical and um, recreational, so they can buy it without Ooh. having a license or anything. Oh. Okay. All right. Well, I'll let you. So I'll just. Uh, I'll add him on and we'll just it. mess with him. <laughs> okay. Right. Well, we'll see what he says. I might, I might okay. poke another camera onto the call just for the hell of it. <laughs> we got, there's another guy that really hates this guy. But anyways, I will start with Phil. This is Philman Brown. And I'll just, I'm just calling you because okay. I'm really worried that they haven't paid and they might be lying to me. So I'm oh, dialing. All right. all right, that works. All right. I'm just a concerned son. Mom? Mm -hmm. We're going to watch this week's call That's together, so. Call Calling scammers late into the night. Wasting their time on some morning light Calling their numbers, exposing these fakes Going to work and I'm barely awake Baiting them for months at a time Trick them into believing my lies Making them happy, then make them so sad Driving them crazy and driving them mad Bank accounts and money mules getting them reported Stopping our older folks from being extorted Cash in a box, get tracking number on I'm a man of God, my word is my bond I'm bare knuckles, that's what I do Scammers go broke whenever I'm through Leaving scammers with a bad impression Sending their brains into a deep depression they call and leave a message You have won yourself a prize Congratulations sir or ma'am Now listen to my lies I wouldn't pull your leg Just don't tell your friends or wife Mercedes or a Benz Ten grand a week for life Bank accounts and money mules Getting them reported Stopping our older folks from being extorted Cash in a box Get tracking number on I'm a man of God My word is Fun. I'm bare knuckles, that's what I do Scammers go broke whenever I'm through Leaving scammers with a bad impression Sending their brains into a deep depression They keep calling and I keep replying We keep laughing and they keep crying They get the full wrath of story time with knuckles Weight of my hate makes their little knees buckle Readers Digest or Mega Million Scams PCH, that's where I am I'm bare knuckles, that's what I do Scammers go broke whenever I'm through Leaving scammers with a bad impression Sending their brains into a deep depression they call all night with a dripping honey pot They wanna show you everything they got You are so handsome
and you need a good wife I don't wanna be rude, but you're not my type Your chicken and barbecue ribs, my wish Heart of bread and escovitch fish delish You got my little tummy quite flattered Cooking with Jamaicans makes my mouth water Send the green dot money cards All 16 digits, it's not that hard Vanilla Visa or MoneyGram Believe me bro, it's not a scam 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 Might end up playing some D&D Might end up cooking jerk chicken with me with me